Broncos, former majority leader, Kansas senator, vice presidential candidate in 1976, and war hero mm -hmm. from World War II, Bob Dole, saluting his former friend and also his former political nemesis. Uh, Mike, uh, Bob Dole, of course, was Gerald Ford's VP nominee in 76. Four years later, it was George H.W. Bush. Uh, they were always stiff competitors, and that was no more evident than in 1988 when George Bush came back and won New Hampshire, and Dole's response was, or actually, I think it was actually on the floor, the convention floor, Bob Dole uh, said, stop lying about my record. But like Jefferson and Adams, uh, these political rivals uh, became uh, good friends. It, it's, it's hard to speak about this, Joe. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. Bob Dole, 10th Mountain Division, World War II, badly wounded uh, for life yeah. uh, in Italy, uh, became best friends in a Veterans Administration hospital with former Senator, the late Daniel Inouye, uh, became close friends with George H.W. Bush after that 1988 campaign. And here he is, an American citizen, a brother in arms, standing with some difficulty and some assistance to salute his former commander in chief. Mm. This is a sight, this is an American story that we should cling to and grasp and hold on to in our memory in these times that we're going through, these turbulent political times. Willie, we have heard many people ask the question uh, as we look at uh, Senator Dole, and we remember George H.W. Bush asking the question, uh, will there ever be another vet who serves as President of the United States? Well, this last election actually suggests very strongly that uh, they will, but there will be, because so many men and women who served us uh, proudly in war in Iraq and Afghanistan have now come home to serve us in the United States House and in the Senate and in local uh, positions and in governorships. And unfortunately the war has gone on so long for 17 years that there are a lot of them so inevitably and hopefully they will continue to rise up but when you look at that image it just you know, we were watching it at home with some people who were over, and everybody's in tears. And my nine-year-old son said, "Why are you guys? What's going on? Why are you all crying? What's happening here?" And it was a great chance to tell the American story, to talk about the greatest generation, what those men and women did, what they lived through in the Depression, what they fought for in World War II. And I said yesterday, you know, both Bob Dole and George H.W. Bush, by all rights, should have been dead as very young men. You know, Dole was 21. Mike told the story when he was shot by the Germans. They put a, they gave him morphine and wrote M on his forehead in ah. his own blood, uh, not having much confidence that he would survive. President Bush, then uh, av naval aviator Bush, was shot down over the Pacific, ejected. Um, both men survived. Bush was 20 years old, and now here you had this moment yesterday where 95-year-old ah. Senator Dole got to stand and salute 94-year-old President George H.W. Bush, and the salute was powerful, and this moment right here to me is as powerful as mm -hmm. he chokes back tears and fights through the emotion, really, of a lifetime. And yeah. we, we don't, it's hard for us to understand sad. as we go back and we talk about the greatest generation and the Band of Brothers. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.